I had this uh, problem online. It's asking me to simplify this fraction, and I'm trying to add these two fractions. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. That's simple algebra. You should have learned that in high school. We don't tutor algebra here. I just do calculus. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I, I won't come. I won't come back. I had this problem online. Um, I'm trying to simplify this fraction, and okay. I'm trying to add them, but I'm not sure if I did them right. All right, so what did you do to get here? I pretty much just added the numerator and the denominator and just got this fraction. Okay, so I know that when you're multiplying fractions, you can multiply across, but when you're adding, you can't add across. What you have to do is you have to use a common denominator for the two fractions. Oh, I remember that. So what would be the common denominator between x and x minus 1? Um, x minus 1. Oh, wait, it's x minus 1 times x. Exactly. So when you have x minus 1 times x in your denominator, what's going to be your new numerator for this first one? Oh, so I have to multiply both sides. Exactly. by x minus 1, so it's going to be x minus 1. And then it's plus. Now what's going to be your numerator for the second one? Um, x squared. Exactly. Now that we have them under a common denominator, you can put it into one fraction and just add your numerators. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. As a QCenter tutor, you are hired to help UConn students in their quantitative courses. Many students struggle with elementary concepts that prevent them from learning more advanced topics. Sometimes, students struggle with high school level concepts, for example, basic algebraic manipulation skills. As a tutor, you should help students even with basic concepts, without making the student feel uncomfortable or inadequate. No question is silly. If the student doesn't know how to do it, we should be there to refresh their memories so that they can succeed in their courses.